today's video, I'm exploring Central High, an abandoned historic school that educated the wealthiest person born in America. Dating back to its founding in 1846, it was the first public high school in all of Ohio. People from all over the state began moving to Cleveland for better opportunities. As the city rapidly grew during the 19th century from industrialization and immigration, so did the demand for education. So in 1878, a new central high was constructed, adorned with Victorian Gothic style architecture featuring a large ornate clock tower, donated by alumni Laura Spellman Rockefeller. She was the wife of John D. Rockefeller. He was an industrial magnate who made his fortune as the founder of the Standard Oil Company. He attended Central High from 1853 to 1855. Another notable alumni is Charles F. Brush. He was the inventor of the electric streetlight and the world's first automated wind turbine generator. He attended Central High in 1863. In its early years, Central High was the centerpiece of Cleveland's educational system. However, by the late 1930s, the demographics of Central's neighborhood changed as white flight began taking place. Many of the residents started to move to the new modernized suburbs of Cleveland. At this time, the students of Central High were predominantly African American. This is when school officials decided to redirect the educational focus away from liberal arts and more towards vocational training, believing the black students' societal roles were better suited as domestics and laborers. Despite this change, Central High retained its vocational music department, directed at preparing students for careers in music education and performance. Many famous black musicians graduated from Central High such as Ted Dameron, Ernie Freeman, and Bull Moose Jackson. However, the most notable African American out of Central High is Langston Hughes. He was an American poet, playwright, and novelist. He was best known for his leadership in the Harlem Renaissance, which was a black cultural movement in the 1920s. It celebrated African American art, literature, and music, showcasing the talents and creativity of black artists in America. In 1940, a new beautiful state-of-the-art Central High School was built, but the students would only be able to enjoy serenity for the next decade. Because in 1952, Central High was merged with East Technical High School, and the Central High building was now used as Stokes Elementary School. Unfortunately, over the years, the school's enrollment declined, and the cost of maintaining its aging infrastructure became unsustainable. In 2013, faced with financial difficulties and underutilization, the decision was made to close the school for good. Central High has been abandoned for a little over a decade. The property owners plan to convert this building into senior housing apartments, but ultimately, I doubt that's going to be possible. Every bit of the property that degrades further is a step closer to sealing the fate of demolition. Now, with that lengthy introduction out of the way, join me as I explore what's left of this abandoned school. Someone burnt all of this. That's crazy. Oh my God. This place is completely destroyed now. It was not like this before. Looks like a completely different school.
Oh my god. They completely destroyed these vending machines. Jesus. That's crazy. Rescue heroes. Jesus Christ. Look at the library. It did not look like this before. It's completely destroyed. Holy crap. There was like a really old newspaper over here when I was here a long time ago. It was on this desk right here and somebody obviously kicked it over. A lot of these books are still in good shape. Just a waste. It's crazy, the city just, just ditches all this stuff. Yeah, as you guys always say, taxpayers' money. Yep, we paid for all of this stuff. Look like some good documentary VHS tapes. They look like they're in good shape. <sighs> Shit, I thought I saw somebody. Now I think this was the science class. Thank <laughs> you. 
guess this wasn't the science one. But what the hell is this over here? Oh, uh, not walking on that. It's like the ceiling or something. Yeah, I'm good. That's I've seen people fall through stuff like that. brought a table out here with some chairs. I hope this roof is safe. That's really pretty. Sun setting over Cleveland, Ohio. Maybe this is a science room. This was a science room, but all the specimens are gone. Wow. They really completely destroyed the school. This place used to be so cool. Wow. It's a roach. Sucks. I 
That's pretty cool. It's all going. I'm gonna try to do like before and after shots, like from the old video to how it looks now. What the hell? Someone burnt a hole in the ground. why well, you can't give locations away though. Every time you do, within a year it's destroyed. Every single time. Some pictures of the students. really sad. something over there. Whoever it was, they probably went up to the roof. I'm not trying to encounter anybody today. I'm good. Go the opposite direction. Holy shit. It's an elevator. So that, not after hearing some noise, we pushed on the damn elevator shaft. It's a mailbox. I think it's a mailbox. Guess I can go in the basement. These stairs look a little bit sketchy. Old toolbox. Before I leave. Oh wow, look, it's sealed. That's pretty cool. I'm 
creepy looking doll. What was that used for? Another creepy doll. Oh, these are showers. Sealed off. I don't know if that led to the outside or not. And here is the gym. It smells like fire down here. But yeah, here's the gym. Wow, they put some type of contraption on the door. Not sure what. Wow, it almost looks like an alarm system. I can't really tell though. It's weird. It's so crazy how quick this place fell apart. Man. What is that noise? That's so cool. Wonder who uh, did this. Why not use these stairs? Why not? They look perfectly fine. That must have been for the students. I doubt that was left behind by an explorer. Oh, wow, look. The basketball jerseys. That's pretty cool. I'm sure somebody that went to this school will come back in here and grab these.
It's a lot of noise back here. All this was burnt. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah, I don't feel like walking over all this stuff. This old type reader. That's rare. Wow, this place is beyond destroyed now. Never looked like this before. Old workout machines. It's pretty cool. There's even weights back here. I'm sure after someone watching this, they'll come steal it. Not that it matters, it is abandoned, so I guess somebody should put it to use. Oh, oh my God. All of this was on fire too. Wow. They basically set the whole basement on fire. Look at this TV. It's completely melted. What the hell is wrong with people? How do you come down here and start a fire? This is, or what used to be the fallout shelter. You know, you can't see all the way back there, but it goes back quite a distance, quite a ways. I'm not going back there though. It's not down here, is it? What's the stairwell? What's the name? Damn it. All right, let me check down here. Oh, fuck these stairs. They're like hollow metal stairs. Shit, I gotta be careful. goes all the way back. Damn. I don't remember this part of the school. I 
It's just dead ends right there. All right, I think the auditorium's down this way. I believe. Man, this is crazy. It was not like this before. It's a shame, bro. It really is. They destroyed everything. Wow. That's creepy. find this auditorium. Yeah, here's the auditorium. Wow. I'm sure it was nice in here at one point. That's pretty cool. Oh, I'm glad I looked. Yeah, let me not walk this way. Piano still works, kind of. about does it I've basically seen the entire school I wanted to conclude this video by paying tribute to the famous individuals that graduated from Central High and to highlight their significant contributions that helped shape America's history regrettably many of these historic figures have faded into obscurity over time and may never be acknowledged again Therefore, I've taken it upon myself to ensure their legacies are shared and remembered. Hope you enjoy. Thank you.